Tennessee back to work. Wilkerson with his hands on the basketball for the first time this year. Look for him to go to work here. He does beautifully. Matty away from the Predator. Set up right, going to work against Bailey. I really like that matchup. Scoby, one of the most improved players on Tennessee's roster. Finally had some time to just calm down and get a little settled after starting last year in conference play, and he buries the tray. Five, and you see the results. Tennessee didn't foul. The ball's ready to run. This is John Fulkerson. Yeah, that's a big time. Hans. Rims in and out. Fulkerson still going to work, and James cleans up the trash. That's Scoby attacks, kicks it out. Here's Bailey. Yes. Whoa. Right pressured by Fulgerson. Give it down low and the slam by Walker. And a sicky being tough into the paint. Got it. What a shot. And he goes right by. Kenley Wright starting to attack. Yeah, Lays it in. They're going to have to do more of that. They're going to have to clear out and let him go one on one. And he took advantage of Jaden Springer right there. Escobie floats it. There's Kamwa. Yeah. You know, nearly a little for four assists a game as well. Tennessee, quick three. Man. Now Batty. It's Kamwa. Takes it back out. Clifford. Evans, Gerald Williams, and Jerry Pollard are officials for that last sequence. Kenley Wright can't get the jumper to go. Keon Johnson defended uh, uh, Wright much better than Jaden Springer. How about Victor Bailey? Three minute scoring draw for Colorado. Horn. Ends the drought. But Batty sticks and gets the rebound. That's what Colorado has to do. Yeah, they need those second chances right now to kind of get themselves back in the game. He fights and scores. What a possession there for Evan Batty. And Tennessee really wants to be. They want to get out and run and score in transition. Because when they're stagnant, and, and again, this 2-3 zone has made them stagnant. Hans ends the drought. This is the action they want there with McKinley. Finds Bartholomew. Buries the three. He's playing a role because they're not getting up quite as high. It's my horn. And he'll finish. Scoby, the step back. Bottom. Bartholomew. Nice kick back to Daniels. Got it. One game here in Knoxville. This is led from the get go in this one. Fulkerson. Puts it in. Hey, you know, it, 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 it. Kenley Wright. Oh, they get the slam with Walton. Walton. Ponds. Shorts. Every one of Ponds' shots has hit the front iron. Every one of them. Bartholomew with a slam. Two point game. Now Tennessee trying to end an over three minute scoring drought. The balls have missed their last four shots. Johnson does not miss here. No, no, we we go against for the big orange. Here come the balls. Escovi brings the rain. That's what Tennessee wants to do right there. Until Horn the rebound. Again, you, you're just not quite sure that that's EJ's rain right now. Horn. Yes. What going to have to do if he plays at the next level? He's going to have to put the ball on the floor and go by something. Fulkerson just re-entered with three fouls. Tennessee connects from downtown. Tennessee to Fulkerson. Inside out. Good, good act. And a sicky there for the board. And a sicky. Put it in. That's the type of offense that Tennessee needed right there. Right again. Gets his own miss. Here's Horn with the three. Four times the charm. That's lead Tennessee with all the momentum. 
Jacoby. Now where do you go? Who, who's going to be your answer? Uh, Keon Johnson. I like that. Some other places, so he got to play really elite five on five. That helped him over the summer and also just got to relax, got to go surfing. Yeah, yeah. Tennessee surfing from downtown. Deck the fact that he is still getting after it on the offensive end. Turnover on Tennessee. Here come the Buffs. Bartholomew knocks down the layup. On pick in next year's NBA draft off the mark. Nine point game, make it seven. You don't know what they don't know. The older guys are still trying to figure it out as well through this pandemic. It's tough for everyone. Colorado's been 2-0, they haven't played since late November. Here's Batty going to work, and he makes it a five-point game. That's own defense from Colorado. Fulkerson floats it up, and John Fulkerson with the answer. He top score today, hasn't missed from the line yet. And now he's 3-3. Three of three. guy that's played tonight that's in double figures. Tennessee still does not have a guy in double figures. So far today. to go. Now it left. Ball's up seven. Dribble it out. The Volunteers had to wait a long time to start this season, but it starts with a win in Knoxville. Tonight's final score from Thompson Bowling Arena, it's Tennessee 56, Colorado 47.